to wait for your contract and this is the place you can ask. Of this week we're going to talk about some iPhone 6 rumors, even though this isn't rumor roundup. We're going to talk about the brand new HTC One M8 and what phone you should get if you just lost yours. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's start asking the Buffalo. First question comes from our friend Josh. Hey John, with the rumors of the iPhone 6 having two size configurations, which of these two sizes would you prefer? And do you think apps will have more issues with the screen sizes? So the rumor is that Apple is at least evaluating two separate screen sizes, a 4.7 and a 5.5. In case you forgot, the current iPhone, the 5S, and the 5 both shared a 4-inch retina display screen. So the rumor has it that we'll be going full 1080p on the new retina, uh, and it'll be the same screen resolution on the 4.7 and the 5.5. I mean, the apps will just look a little bit bigger uh, on a larger screen. Developers won't have much to worry about. Um, I do think that we might have some issues with the older uh, generation phones, but Apple's done a really nice job of scaling the applications, uh, or at least you can play them inside of, or use the applications inside of black borders. I think that's going to be how this is going to be solved. Uh, it's unfortunate uh, when you sort of have that sort of fragmentation in your phones, but at some point, Apple clearly has to make a bigger phone. Uh, the market's going bigger and bigger and bigger, not necessarily, you know, 6.3 inch Galaxy Mega, uh, but certainly bigger than four inches. I think 4.7 uh, is really becoming the new norm, sort of the small end uh, of the phone spectrum. I do hope that we get a 5.5 inch iPhone. I love giant screen sizes, and I would really enjoy to have that. Throw in some hopefully new, I feel like I'm a broken record here, iOS 8, I'd be a happy fellow. Next question comes from Twitter, user at TechMobReviews asks, at John for Lakers, do you think the HTC M8 is better than the Galaxy S5? Hashtag ask the beast. So before I answer that question, let me say that of course when we get the Galaxy S5 and a hot little review in hands, we will bash them together and see who reigns supreme in the smartphone mashup, bash up, supremacy battle. But we don't have the official release Galaxy S5 yet. Uh, Todd was at the Samsung event, so I have not had a chance to actually see the Galaxy S5, much like you have only read about it uh, and watched the videos. Uh, I will say, though, with the last generation, I preferred the HTC One's design over the Galaxy S4. Perhaps it'll be the same thing uh, with the Galaxy S5. I really do like, though, the duo cameras uh, on the HTC One. Uh, but removable battery is also nice on the Galaxy S5. Uh, I'm not sure how the new uh, TouchWiz is going to hold up against Sense 6. So I really want to try them and see them. Um, but, you know, I could be swayed either way. The camera on the Galaxy S5 is supposed to be awesome as well. So who knows? I'm excited to see them go head to head, though. Which one would you pick up? If you haven't touched either one right now and you walk into a store blind and you got to pick up a phone or gun to your head, got to pick a phone, which one are you picking? That should be kind of a fun question. Leave it, leave it in the comments down below. And while we're talking about the HTC One, let's continue with it. User at Amiak underscore chaos at John Four Lakers. What did you think of the HTC event yesterday? What was your favorite feature? the new HTC One, what do you think of the camera? So this video being filmed on Wednesday, the day after the event, you can tell by the question, uh, being yesterday. Uh, I really like the new HTC One M8. In fact, I've got it in my pocket. I can finally show it and be like, this is it. I've been using it since last Friday. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, one of my favorite features is totally stolen from LG, uh, but the double tap to unlock, never even have to touch the home button. I will say I take a lot of pictures of my kid, and I say this over and over again, and he's a little guy, and he's quick moving, he's squirmy, so being able to focus afterwards is really, really helpful. Uh, the shutter speed also on the new HTC One M8 is super fast. You can take really quick pictures. So I've been really, really, really happy with that. Uh, so I think it's been a great announcement for HTC. Um, although where it's going to stack up by the time the year's over and how it's going to sell and compete with Samsung and Apple is really yet to be seen. We stop for just a quick second to thank our friends, sponsors, and peoples at GoDaddy. It's time, and GoDaddy's here to help you kick butt online. If you've been looking at Techno Buffalo and thought, you know what, I could do that. If you want to start your own website on Mountain Goats, for example, you go ahead and do that. You can start your website today with a $2.95.com. Visit GoDaddy.com, enter promo code TECHNO295 to get your .com for just, you probably guessed it, $2.95. Check out the website, though, for all of those details. Next question comes from Twitter as well, at Kriston Sisoff asks, at John Four Lakers, I recently lost my phone. Bummer, we've all been there, man. Uh, what is a great but cheap phone I can get while I save up for a new one? The answer is very simple. Two words, Moto. X. You can get one for a killer deal. You can customize it. You can find one used on eBay. If that's even maybe too much for you, the Moto G is still a great phone. It's a little less expensive. You get some of the nice features uh, of the Moto X. You can't customize the colors and stuff as much. But one of those two is an awesome way to go. Uh, the Moto X was um, almost unanimously the smartphone of the year here in the staff, although I picked the HTC One. People love it. I loved it. You can get a great deal on it. Uh, you can pick it up unlocked, and you can sell it when you save up for your new one, use that money to buy the new phone. Uh, you can sort of help yourself as you go. And plus, you're going to get a really, really uh, nice phones. Hopefully that helped answer your question. 
So thank you guys for watching the episode of Ask the Buffalo. It feels really good to be back answering questions. I love the chance to interact. And though I can't see each and every one of you, at least reading these questions, getting a chance to talk, I feel like we get to have a little bit of a conversation. That is super awesome to me. So thank you guys for indulging me. Thank you for watching uh, all the shows. I really appreciate it. And uh, just thank you in general. Uh, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com, latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys in the next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.